So guys, welcome back to another video and welcome to my Team of the Week 14 preview. This of course is my weekly series where I look over Saturday's matches from the top 5 leagues and I try to identify some players who could feature in the upcoming Team of the Week. Like always, my full Team of the Week 14 prediction will come out tomorrow night, so if you've not yet subscribed to the channel, make sure you do and click the notification bell as well and then you'll be notified when the video goes live. Anyway, if you could leave a like on this video, that would be absolutely awesome. And also, in the comments, let me know who you think could get an inform in Team of the Week 14. Right then, the intro is done, let's get into things. We're going to start this week by talking about the games played in the Serie A. There's actually only been two games played today in the Italian League, so uh, this section of the video is going to be over pretty quickly. Inter Milan beat Udinese 1-0, the only goal in this game was a penalty scored by Icardi. I doubt he's going to get an inform for just one goal, especially with it being from the penalty spot. For Schalke and Brozovic got good match ratings, but I doubt they'll feature in the upcoming team of the week. The other game played in the Serie A today was between Torino and Juventus, which is of course the Turin derby. Juventus won this game 1-0, the goal was scored by Ronaldo. It was a penalty, so I can't see him getting an inform for that. But I think an inform could come from this game with it being a derby match. Matty Perrin made a few saves and kept a clean sheet, so maybe he could get in. I do think it's unlikely though. Anyway, let's move on and let's talk now about the Premier League. Manchester City beat Everton in the early kickoff today. Leroy Sane got two assists, but I don't think he'll be getting an inform for that, especially when Gabriel Jesus scored twice. He also got a pretty good match rating, so as things stand, I think Gabriel Jesus has a very good chance at getting an inform this week. His inform in FIFA 18 was incredible, so hopefully he does get this inform and hopefully it's a very good card. I would love to get a red inform Gabriel Jesus in my weekend league red picks. Crystal Palace beat Leicester 1-0 at home. The only goal in this game came via Milojojevic. Um, one goal and a clean sheet for the centre mid could be enough to see him get an inform, but as things stand, I think it's unlikely that he does get selected in Team Week 14. Um, Newcastle also won this week, they were away at Huddersfield, they picked up a 1-0 win, the goal was scored by Rondon but I don't think he'll get a second in form for just one goal. But one Newcastle player who could maybe get into Team of the Week 14 is the goalkeeper whose name is Dubraka I think. Um, that guy made 5 saves in the game and obviously also kept a clean sheet. Tottenham and Burnley ended in a 1-0 scoreline, the home side got the win, the game actually looked like it was going to end in a 0-0 draw but then in the 91st minute, in injury time, Christian Eriksen popped up and he scored a late winner. I doubt we'll see an inform come from this match. Watford survived a late comeback from Cardiff at Vicarage Road, Watford were 3-0 up in the 70th minute of the game. And then Cardiff scored twice within the final 10 minutes of the match. The game finished 3-2 to the Hornets. Holobas scored from left back. And Gerard Delefeu got a goal and an assist from a central role. Wolves beat Cardiff 2-0. There were two different goal scorers in this match. And from the stats I've seen, there was no major standout performer. So I don't think an inform will be produced from this game. And the final match in the Premier League today was between Fulham and West Ham. The away side won the game 2-0. And the goals came from Snodgrass and Antonio. Now, I don't think Snodgrass will get an inform for just one goal. But you could argue the fact that he deserves an inform this week because he's been West Ham's best player in their last three or four games. Snodgrass right now is the definition of an inform player, so he probably does deserve to be in Team Week 14, but will he get in for just one goal? Probably not. Okay, so that's the Premier League wrapped up. Now let's chat about the Bundesliga. Over in Germany, the first game of the day was between Hoffenheim and Borussia Mönchengladbach. Now this game ended 0-0. But Hoffenheim recorded 27 shots in this game. So um, on paper, this match looks like a game of foot champs. The Gladbach goalkeeper Sommer made 7 saves in this game. So he could potentially get an inform for this performance. Stuttgart beat Hertha Berlin 2-1. Both goals came from Chacha, Mario Gomez. He got a decent match rating as well. So we could be seeing the legend Mario Gomez get an inform this week. Augsburg and Schalke ended in a 1-1 draw. Gregorich scored for Augsburg and Kali Guri scored for Schalke. 
I doubt Eva will feature in Team of the Week 14. I don't think an inform will come from that match. Hanover hosted Bayern Munich this week and the game didn't end well for them. Bayern won this game 4-0 and the goals came from Kimmich, Alaba, Nabry and Lewandowski. Uh, Lewandowski. Um, Kimmich scored and got an assist and he helped his side keep a clean sheet so I imagine he's got a very good chance at getting an inform in Team of the Week 14. Um, Fortuna Dusseldorf beat Freiburg 2-0. The goals came from centre-back Ayan and I hope I'm getting his name right, by the way. He scored twice and kept a clean sheet. So two goals and a clean sheet for a centre-back. That should guarantee a spot in the next Team of the Week, in my opinion. So I'm pretty confident that this guy will feature in Team of the Week 14. I'd be shocked to see him not included. I'd say he's a guarantee. Anyway, moving on, the final game in the Bundesliga on Saturday was between Dortmund and Werder Bremen. The team in yellow won 2-1. Royce and Paco Alcacer were the goal scorers and I don't see either of them getting an inform for just one goal. So I don't think an inform will come from this match. Okay, so that's the Bundesliga wrapped up. Now let's head over to Spain and let's talk about the games that were played in La Liga. Getafe kicked off today's games. They were at home to Real Sociedad. Getafe won this game 1-0. The goal came from Molina. Now, I don't think he'll get an inform for just one goal. And if I'm being honest, I don't think an inform will come from this game. Atletico Madrid were involved in a dramatic match today. They beat um, Real Valladolid 3-2. Antoine Griezmann was involved in all three of Atletico's goals. He scored twice and he set up the other. One of the, go uh, one of the goals he scored was a penalty, which is worth noting. If I'm being fully honest, as things stand, I don't think Griezmann will feature in Team of the Week 14 because he's just had a Champions League special card released. But if there aren't too many other high-rated candidates for Team of the Week 14, I could see him getting included. Real Madrid beat Real Velocano 1-0. Benzema got the winning goal and Vasquez got the assist. I just don't think that either of them will get an inform for that. Um, the fourth and final game in La Liga on Saturday was between Ibar and Valencia. The game ended in a one all draw and... Like the previous game, I don't see an inform coming from this match. Over in the French League, un, only one game was played today. Four were scheduled, but three of them got postponed. The one game that did get played today was between Rem and Strasbourg. Um, Rem won the game 2-1. Doombi has scored and got a decent match rating, so maybe he could feature in Team of the Week 14. But I think he's going to need a pretty good match rating from the keep to get in. So guys, those were all the candidates I could find from the top five leagues in Europe that played on Saturday. It has to be said that Team of the Week 14 so far isn't looking too great. So before we end this video, let's talk about some players who could get an inform this week who don't play in the quote-unquote top five leagues. So, um, Hamdala, who plays in the Saudi League, scored four times in a 4-0 win. I'd imagine with that kind of performance, he's guaranteed a spot in the upcoming team of the week. Um, Leandre Tawamba scored a hat-trick for his side. He scored three goals in a 3-0 win. Now, both of these players... Um, are originally silver players in Ultimate Team and with both of them playing in the same league I wouldn't be shocked to see one of them miss out on a Team of the, four, uh, team of the Week 14 inclusion so yeah I think unfortunately despite scoring a hat-trick Tawamba could still miss out on an inform. Anyway moving on Philip Clement put in a man of the match display for Paderborn as they beat Dresden 3-0. Diego Souza scored a hat-trick for Braga in a 4-0 win. Hull City's Fraser Campbell scored twice as the Tigers beat Brentford. Um, PSV won 4-0 today and two of their defenders scored and kept clean sheets. So one of Dumfries uh, or Schwab could get an inform. And finally in the Turkish league, Jovic scored twice in a 3-2 win for his side. So guys, those are my early suggestions for the upcoming Team of the Week. Like I said a few moments ago, Team of the Week 14, as things stand, isn't looking too great. So we really could do with some big players putting in some good performances on Sunday. Um, that's pretty much it for this video guys, so if you could leave a like on it, that would be muchly appreciated. Remember in the comments below to let me know who you think could be getting an inform in Team of the Week 14. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We're almost at 60,000 subscribers, which is awesome. It would be great to hit that in the next day or two. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Remember to turn on the notifications bell so you're alerted um, tomorrow when Team of the Week 14 predictions drop. Thanks for watching guys, I will catch you in the next one.